as the COVID-19 situation continues to evolve and remains fluid in Malaysia as well as globally, it is important to remain vigilant as we continue to bring you the latest market updates and insights from the safety and comfort of your home. These are, I am sure many of you will agree, the worst of times. The pandemic has not only caused a health crisis, but also wreaked havoc across all global economies. And just when we thought we were seeing some light and return to growth, the second and third waves of the pandemic have hit our shores and that of other regions. It is now more certain than ever that the global economy will slide into recession. Already, people are now thinking a double deep recession is on the cards. I think the election is going to have a major knee-jerk reaction on the markets, but fundamentally from an economic perspective, it's not necessarily going to have a dramatic impact. It's going to be more important to see what those policies are going to look like longer term. The key issues, the underlying issues between a US-China trade uh, policy, those might see different priorities on different president. But is that pressure on trying to reshape that relationship going to change? I don't believe so. I think you are going to see that constant pressure on China. So what does that mean for the region? China is obviously a very important trading partner across the board, yeah. whether it's through imports, whether it's through exports, right? So it is very important for the region. But I think in the region also, there's an understanding, there's an appreciation for kind of how you have to grow, how you can grow with China, how you can have China as a partner. And so I don't think any of those necessarily will change. Think about your investment time. What are you looking at trying to achieve, right? And this is, it's immaterial of tech, it's immaterial of healthcare. What are you trying to achieve? What is your time horizon, right? If you're talking about, like I said, three to six months, then I have no clue, quite honestly, where the tech is headed. I mean, should tech have been rallying up in through the face of this? Maybe not, is the valuation extended? Is definitely trading at a premium, but is it completely out of whack? I don't think it is out of whack. I think there are real reasons so I go back to looking at this from a long term perspective. What are the key secular trends that are driving this? And are those trends changing in terms? Mm. So in healthcare, people are going to keep getting old. I mean, that's just not changing. I mean, I don't care how much you would want it to change. And trust me, there's a lot of work being done to try and reduce and slow that, that process, right? But all that means that we're all going to live longer, right? And as you age, the amount of healthcare you use increases. So that trend is not slowing down.